welcome back to daydreams of quilts on youtube i'm anita i keep forgetting to tell you my actual name i always say daydreams of quilts but i think most of you know but i am anita and i'm happy to hang out with you today to talk to you about etsy with my fellow etsyans or etsyers um i want to talk today about 10 reasons that sellers get banned on etsy uh, so many times I see posts in the Facebook groups of sellers that are just completely shocked that their shop is shut down and they're banned on Etsy and they, they seemingly don't know why. So I want to go over a few things so that that doesn't happen to any of you. Before we get started, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my channel. That really helps my channel out a lot and helps me get found by other Etsy sellers like you. Um, the first possibility is that it could just be a mistake or a glitch. So if you're convinced that there's there's been a mistake, there might have been. So uh, email Etsy and ask them uh, what's going on and hopefully they'll be able to get to the bottom of it quickly. Um, the second reason why you might get banned from Etsy is missing a warning email from Etsy. Um, some people set up an email for their shop so that they don't get all the Etsy mail emails coming to their main email, but they don't check that email very often. So um, that could be a problem for you if Etsy's sending you a warning or they've sent you a takedown notice and you have not complied with what they've asked, then they will shut your shop down and you may not be able to get it back in that um, scenario so make sure you're checking your emails from Etsy even if they're not coming to your main email address if you set up a secondary business email make sure you are checking what Etsy is sending you so that you don't miss a warning email okay uh, the third reason could be uh, bad customer service if you're constantly shipping late or you're getting a lot of one-star reviews or a lot of cases open against your shop, Etsy can shut you down for that. So it's really important, not only for yourself and your business, but for your ability to remain on Etsy that you provide good customer service. So try to avoid the one-star reviews. I know sometimes they just happen and it's really beyond your control. But if you are providing the best service you can, you're shipping your orders on time, or if you can't ship, you're contacting your customer and letting them know what's happening, e extending the ship by date, you really need to do that as well. If you can't ship on time, you need to go into Etsy and extend the ship by date. Um, but generally, if you're providing good customer service, you will be getting good reviews and there won't be cases opened by customers. So work hard on your customer service and don't let too many issues come up in that department. Um, I did see one lady talking about how her shop got shut down because they got overwhelmed with orders and they couldn't get them all out on time and then they got stuck in the Christmas mail so they had a few cases open and even though they were like in the top 1% of Etsy they lost their shop because they weren't able to keep up with orders. So if you're getting overwhelmed, just put your shop on vacation mode and just get caught up before you start accepting more orders. It could mean the difference between keeping your shop and losing it. Okay, so uh, that one's important. Uh, not paying your bill. Make sure that your credit card on file that you're using for your Etsy bill is up to date. Um, I know I forgot one time at, to update when it expired and I got a new card and um, they didn't shut my shop down but they wouldn't deposit my money and I kept requesting a deposit and it kept not coming and I was getting really frustrated. It was because my credit card had expired. So you need to make sure that your payment method is current. So whenever you get a new card in the mail, go into your Etsy and update your um, expiry date on your credit card and make sure you're keeping your bill paid generally that's not much of a problem anymore since they take their fees as your sales come in now instead of letting them build up like they used to um, but that could be reason number four okay and the fifth reason you could get banned on Etsy is by selling things that you're not allowed to sell on Etsy and there is a big list in it used to be called the Etsy handbook I think it's now called the house rules 
there's a big list of prohibited items in there. So you want to make sure you're not selling those. So go and check that if you haven't already. Um, some of those items might be uh, non-handmade items. Like Etsy is not a reseller marketplace. You can order in craft supplies and resell craft supplies, but you cannot just like order in a bunch of clearance flip-flops and then sell them again without altering them in some way and making them handmade. So your items need to be handmade. Um, selling items that are non-vintage when you're calling them vintage, that would be a problem. Um, items not designed by you. Um, so you can be, you can design a t-shirt and have it printed and sell it, but you cannot be reselling other people's designs on t-shirts. Uh, other prohibited items are alcohol, tobacco, drugs, drug paraphernalia, obviously uh, those would be prohibited items, animal products and human remains. These, these are on the list. Um, feathers even, you're not allowed to sell on Etsy. They're considered an animal product. Uh, cat and dog parts such as like a skull uh, that you found, you can't sell that. Uh, ivory or bones from ivory producing animals. Dangerous and hazardous materials. Recalled items. Um, weapons. You can sell knives, but they need to be knives that are intended to be used as a tool, not as a weapon. So like a kitchen knife would be okay. Um, say you hand, hand carved the handle for it or something, that would be fine. Um, illegal items or items that promote illegal activity are not allowed. You cannot sell Native American crafts unless you actually are a Native American. Uh, plants and seeds are regulated that are regulated, you can't sell those. Uh, and for children's products, there are many compliance laws that you must follow. So make sure you're uh, educated on those before you start selling children's products. And food products as well, there's many um, food regulations you need to follow to sell food products. Internationally regulated items, such as items from Cuba cannot be sold on Etsy. And so the, the list goes on. So you wanna make sure you're complying with Etsy's rules uh, or that would be a reason for having your shop, sh shop shut down and banned. And when they ban you, you can't even shop on there as a customer anymore, like your account is gone. So you wanna be careful there. Uh, uh, reason number six why your shop could be banned on Etsy uh, one of your other shops or a shop that shares your IP address get shut down. A lot of people don't realize this. If you have a friend, like a roommate, and you're both using the same internet IP address, basically the same internet modem, and your friend gets shut down, your shop will be shut down. And the same goes for if you hire a virtual assistant, and that virtual assistant has access to your shop as well as many other shops. If one of her other customers gets shut down, your shop could be shut down too because your shop is associated with the same IP address as the shop that got shut down. So if there is a concern there, you might want to consider getting your own modem, um, even though you're, you're sharing an apartment with your roommate. And don't go on public Wi-Fi, like at the library or at Starbucks or wherever, because the same thing could happen. If you are on the uh, public, Wi-Fi and then another shop goes on that same public Wi-Fi and their shop gets shut down, your shop could get shut down. It is possible to get your shop back usually, but it's a lot of back and forth with Etsy and you have to prove that you're not actually associated with the person whose shop got shut down. And I mean, if it's a public Wi-Fi, you're not even gonna know whose shop got shut down. Um, so you wanna be careful and just use your own Wi-Fi. When I'm out and I want to check my Etsy shop, I just use my data on my cell phone. I don't use public Wi-Fi. Okay, reason number seven why your shop might be shut down on Etsy is fee avoidance. You are not allowed to uh, convince a customer to go and make their purchase somewhere else. Um, you can't be saying, oh, if you buy it on my website, it's 20% cheaper or something like that. 
you can't do that. That's um, against Etsy's terms of service. So you, if a customer has contacted you on Etsy, you need to complete the transaction on Etsy and pay their fees because they are the one that brought you that customer and they need to earn their commission on that sale. Um, okay, reason number eight for possibly having your shop shut down on Etsy is misrepresenting the item's location. You need to be transparent about where you're shipping from. You cannot be saying it ships from Canada when it actually ships from the States and people in Canada are wanting to buy something that ships within Canada. Um, that could be a reason why you would be banned from Etsy. Uh, reason number nine is you have not disclosed a production partner. Um, there is a section in your shop where you can fill out your production partners that help you make your products. And I have filled a few out in my shop for print shops that print things for me or like if I get my fabric, if I design fabric and I have it printed at Spoonflower, I have disclosed that Spoonflower is a production partner. So you need to go in and do that. That could be a reason for your shop getting shut down if you don't disclose that. There is a way to keep the name that displays to the public private so that you're not telling all your competition who your production partners are, but you do need to tell Etsy who they are. So um, behind the scenes, Etsy can see who helps you produce your products but what's uh, front facing to the customer, you can set that to private. Um, and it will just show that there is a production partner, but it doesn't say who. Um, and the 10th reason would be acts of discrimination and hate speech is not allowed on Etsy and you cannot refuse service to someone based on their race solely as a reason for not serving them. So that would be another reason. So just be nice and and everything will be fine <laughs> so i hope some of these things help you out um going back to items that are not designed by you that that could also be copyright infringement usually if you're infringing on someone's copyright which i don't think you should do uh but if you were you would get a warning email from etsy if you ignore the warning email and don't take that item down then they'll shut your shop down um, and just because there's a lot of sellers on Etsy that are selling things that that are copyright infringement does not mean that you should do it it just means that they haven't been shut down yet or if they're a really big shop they may have purchased a license to sell those items and they may be allowed to sell them but a uh, licensing is extremely expensive and you also probably as a small business owner do not have the ways and means of fighting a big company like Disney when they come after you um, and they will they have whole teams of people that search for copyright infringement on Etsy and then they submit a takedown notice to Etsy and Etsy when they when they email you it's because they're complying with that notice it's not because they singled you out um, and so many times I see people in the Etsy group and they're saying, oh, I don't understand why my shop is shut down and they're, they're so upset, but yet they're selling things that are like Mickey Mouse and Pokemon and things like that. And that is why their shop got shut down and they will not get their shop back. If you get shut down for that reason, you will not get your shop back. So just don't, don't post and list items that are copyright infringement items. You need to come up with your own designs and your own ideas and definitely don't put tags like Disney Princess or or Pokemon or any or Harry Potter. Do not put those things in your tags and titles. You will get caught on that. So um, that's my advice for you guys. I hope that you all stay safe and well on Etsy and I'll talk to you next time. If this video helped you out today, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when the next video gets posted. Thanks for watching.